For thousands of years, horses have carried our dreams, our burdens, and our battles, without ever uttering a word. Between human and horse lies one of the oldest partnerships on earth, built not on speech, but on trust. A flick of an ear, the shift of a muscle, the look in an eye, it's through these whispers that horses have spoken to us. And we've spent centuries trying to understand what they truly mean. But what if, for the first time in history, we could go beyond instinct? Beyond guesswork and emotion? What if we could actually hear what a horse feels? In real time. Not just hungry, or tired, but I'm calm, I'm scared, I trust you. It sounds like science fiction, yet the future is already galloping toward us. Artificial intelligence, once a distant dream, is now decoding the silent languages of life itself. From dolphins to dogs, AI is helping humans translate emotion into understanding. And horses, those masters of subtlety, may be next. Imagine an AI that reads micromovements, heart rhythms, or neural signals, and transforms them into language. A bridge, built not of reins and commands, but of empathy and data. This isn't just about technology. It's about connection, the kind we've always wanted, but never truly achieved. The question is no longer can we talk to horses? It's are we ready to truly listen? Long before humans spoke of data or artificial intelligence, horses had already mastered communication, a kind we can see, but rarely understand. Within every herd flows an invisible conversation, not of words, but of energy. A flicked ear, a lifted head, a deep breath. Each gesture carries meaning. A mare might warn a youngster with nothing more than a glance. A stallion can command respect with the shift of his stance. Even silence, in the horse world, speaks volumes. To them, communication isn't noise, it's nuance. Every tail swish, every step closer or farther away, tells a story of comfort, dominance, curiosity, or fear. Within moments, the herd adjusts, reorganizes, and returns to harmony, all without a sound. When humans enter this world, we often disrupt it with our volume, our impatience, our misunderstanding. Yet, over time, some of us learn to listen, not with our ears, but with our eyes and hearts. Trainers call it feel. Scientists call it non-verbal communication. Horses simply call it life. For centuries, Horsemen and women have tried to decode this quiet language, to understand when a horse says I trust you or I'm afraid. But it remains imperfect, an art more than a science. Now, for the first time, we may be on the edge of translating it, not with intuition alone, but with technology that listens the way horses do, quietly, deeply, and with total awareness. Because to speak with horses, we must first learn the oldest truth of all, Silence is not empty. It's full of meaning. For centuries, humans have relied on intuition to understand horses. But now, a new ally has entered the arena, one that doesn't rely on instinct, but on information. Artificial intelligence. Across research labs and equestrian centers, scientists are developing tools that can read horses in ways never before possible. Facial recognition software now tracks micro-expressions, the twitch of a lip, the blink of an eye, the flare of a nostril, decoding them into patterns of emotion. Wearable sensors, embedded in lightweight halters or saddle pads, record heart rate, muscle tension, and temperature, painting a real-time picture of a horse's stress and comfort levels. Algorithms analyze those signals and translate them into something remarkable, emotional data. Early AI models are already distinguishing between frustration, curiosity, and fear things even skilled trainers sometimes miss. This technology isn't replacing human empathy, it's amplifying it. It gives us the ability to see what's invisible, the emotions behind the movement. In one groundbreaking experiment, AI systems analyzed thousands of hours of video footage to predict a horse's mood with over 80% accuracy. Each data point brings us closer to a dictionary of equine emotion, a shared language between species. We stand on the edge of a revolution, where code meets compassion. A future where the human horse bond isn't just felt, it's understood. The age of equine AI has begun, not to command horses, but to finally comprehend them. Imagine standing before your horse, 
No reins, no words, and understanding exactly what they feel. Not through a guess, not through years of observation, but through a conversation. That's the dream scientists are chasing with equine AI, translating gestures, sounds, and biometrics into human language. Systems equipped with microphones and motion sensors now record every snort, stamp, flick of an ear, or swish of a tail. Each movement becomes data, each sound a syllable in the horse's hidden vocabulary. Early prototypes of AI horse communicators are astonishing. When a horse shows agitation before a thunderstorm, the device might interpret, I sense pressure in the air. When a foal calls to its mother, it might read, where are you? It's not magic, it's machine learning fueled by empathy and observation. In Japan and Sweden, researchers have even created AI-assisted systems that alert handlers when a horse is stressed, hungry, or unwell, long before symptoms appear. These technologies don't speak for horses, they help us listen better. For the first time, we can glimpse what it's like inside their world, their fears, comforts, curiosities. And maybe, just maybe, we're learning that communication isn't about control, it's about connection. When the unspoken finally speaks, it doesn't say, obey. It says, understand me. Some ethicists warn that technology might strip horses of the very thing that makes them extraordinary, their mystery, their quiet dignity. If we begin to speak for them, could we also begin to control them more precisely, bending nature to fit human logic? And what if the translation isn't perfect? A machine can misinterpret fear as fatigue or excitement as aggression. One wrong reading, one misguided decision, and the bond of trust that took years to build could break in a second. Yet, when used with care, AI could amplify compassion, helping us protect, not exploit. The challenge lies in balance. Understanding must never replace respect. We're walking a thin trail between wisdom and arrogance. To cross it safely, we must remember. True communication isn't about hearing everything. It's about listening with humility. What if communication wasn't about words at all, but about understanding? Beyond senses, signals, and algorithms, there's something deeper at play, connection. A bond that no machine can replicate, only enhance. The future of equine communication isn't about dominating or decoding, it's about partnership. With AI as an interpreter, humans may finally begin to see the horse not as an obedient animal, but as a thinking, feeling being with desires, fears, and decisions of its own. Imagine technology that listens to a horse's heartbeat and translates it into emotional feedback. Imagine herds being monitored not for control, but for well-being, detecting stress, hunger, or joy before harm ever happens. That's not surveillance. That's stewardship. AI can give us data, but empathy gives that data meaning. The future will belong to those who merge both, using intelligence, both artificial and emotional, to create harmony between species. In this new era, the horse is not a tool, not a test subject, but a teacher. Their calm becomes our calm. Their instincts, our lessons. If we listen not to command, but to connect, we won't just speak to horses, we'll finally understand them. And in doing so, we may rediscover what it truly means to be human. As the sun rises over the fields, we stand on the edge of a new era, one where silence no longer separates us, but connects us. For centuries, horses have read our emotions, our fear, our calm, our intent, without a single word spoken. Now, for the first time, we have the technology to return that gift. AI has given us a window into their inner world, a glimpse of what they feel, how they think, and what they need. But this power comes with a question that echoes louder than any discovery. Will we listen with humility, or will we only hear what we want to? True understanding doesn't begin with machines, it begins with empathy. The sensors, the algorithms, the translations, they are tools. The real bridge between species is trust. The dawn of understanding isn't a moment in science, it's a choice. A choice to listen more deeply, to respect more fully, and to coexist more harmoniously. Perhaps, in learning to understand the horse, we'll remember how to listen to nature itself, and rediscover the language we were always meant to speak.